Hey everybody, welcome back to a new episode of D&D Quick Shots. Today we are talking about Gloves of Missile Snaring. Alright, so first things first, what are missiles? Gloves of Missile Snarings allow you to actually either reduce damage or completely catch an item. Now, um, a missile is basically any kind of projectile. Now, it has to be a physical projectile. No, you cannot catch magic missiles. Um, it's going to have to be, you know, either something like an arrow, a bullet, a rock, something fired out of a sling. Take it, you know, take your pick. Um, but it has to be basically an ammunition of sorts of some kind. Um, so it doesn't allow you to catch everything out there. It does require some kind of physical item being you know, either fired at you, uh, shot at you, something. Now, um, these are very, very fun items for a player because number one, uh, if, if they're getting shot out with arrows, they can use a reaction, which reactions don't get enough play you know, for a lot of uh, classes and things. So it does let you use a reaction to try and either reduce damage or catch something completely. Now, this is really effective for somebody like a ranger, um, somebody who is actually out there um, you know, who can use that projectile in return, right? Because um, if it hasn't actually impacted anything, then it still maintains its original properties. So that's a really cool thing. Um, so if you can reduce damage by why it's 1d10 plus your actual dexterity modifier, then you can catch it completely rather than just reduce damage. So let's say somebody fires at you with a, a, a magical plus one arrow or something, or plus two or plus three or something. Um, according to the DMG, once that actually hits, once a, a plus one, plus two, plus three, it loses magical property, becomes a standard arrow at that point. So if you can catch it before it actually hits, hey, free plus one, two, or three arrow, something like that. Um, not only, you know, is that a, a pretty fantastic thing, um, but it gives them more ability to keep firing um, when when under duress or what have you. Now it does require a free hand, um, so if you are actually locked and loaded and prepped and, and holding for a shot, it does you no good. Those, those gloves do nothing for you. Same kind of thing, you really want it to be given to a character that has a higher level dex, um, you know, because if they're sitting at a plus one dex or something like that, yeah, that's not really great. If you're sitting at a plus five dex, then it's fantastic, right? So then a single arrow uh, that may end up doing, you know, let's just call it 15 points of damage, you now have the possibility to catch completely. Um, it also gives a little bit more survivability. So, you know, let's say you don't end up uh, reducing it by the full 15 or whatever, but it would have been 15 and you take it down, you know, to 10 or to five. Um, that's a pretty good amount. I mean, for most rangers at, you know, fifth or sixth level, you're talking you know 45 to 55 health so it's like 10 percent you know that's that's a pretty fantastic uh dropping point there now when do you give these out honestly um you know they're they're decently rare um they're uncommon but they're, they're when i say decently rare not every ranger is going to have these you're not going to see these everywhere but you probably could end up purchasing them they're a very defensive item i don't see shopkeepers not holding and carrying these kind of things but i also don't see them that every guy on the corner is going to have them so I would say that these would be one of the few items that would be available for purchase at, at several different shops in different you know, cities you go to. Not every one of them, but you could probably find these most places. Now, with that kind of thing in mind, being able to find them most places, uh, what kind of cost do you associate to them? There's a lot of different uh, uh, pieces and parts out there where people talk about the cost of magic items. Um, and it'll be based on rarity, on level, on, on use, and everything else. These I would probably put up in the you know 250 300 gold range. Um, I wouldn't make them crazy expensive or anything like that because they are based on reaction. You are going to have to have a free hand uh, if you're in combat. You know there there's a lot of if factors to make it there, but it's not something that just be you know willy nilly found out in the open. Um, now these are great items to loot off of another ranger. Um, you know if you actually end up having to find them and you're you're looting a body. Um, these are a great thing if, to loot off of. And I always think of it like this. Um, you always hear, you know, stories of military snipers and, you know, there's two guys out in the wilderness and, um, you know, they're, they're hunting each other and blah, blah, blah. 
this would be a, a very cool skin scenario to do that so maybe you end up picking up a pretty good bow from the guy or maybe pick up some good arrows something like that and you got these pretty sweet new gloves um, so those are, are my opinion on those now the downside to them I think they're really a good low level item but they require attunement um, and when you start getting into the higher levels you know you're talking about bows you're talking about armor you're talking about weaponry um, there's a lot of things that require um, attunement these probably would be given up a slot you know between 8 and 12th level is whenever I'd probably be like mm, I'm gonna switch these up right maybe my AC is is good now maybe I've got better armor that I don't need it as much maybe I can just absorb a little more damage um, in those kind of scenarios they they quit being used pretty quickly so you don't necessarily need to carry them in you know late late game you know if you're talking about you have a 15 level character you're probably not going to give these to them or they're just going to take them and hoard them and sell them so if they're just going to hoard them and sell them just don't give them to them in the first place it's fine get something better lower levels they're going to love them you know these are going to be fantastic pieces um, and you can pair them with other items that end up making it good so this may be a very good first attunement item uh, for a character so uh, that's that's the gloves of missile snaring definitely like and subscribe if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below uh, and once again thanks for watching guys have a great day